Now somebody said to me once, I can't sit with him, he's black. And I said, I don't care. He's black, but he's probably good. He's white, he's probably a, not a nice person. So <laughs> don't make color a difference. Or religion. It depends on the person. He, he, I don't care what religion people are or what color. If they're good people, I'll sit with them. They may be white like I and Jewish like I, but they may be rotten. So don't come to me. <laughs> you have <what> said. <laughs> Yes, we do with you in the red. Henry, I, I know you and Ingrid speak to many, many schools and many, many adults and, and work harder than most people in their 40s, not, not expectedly in their 90s. However, how significant do you think that has been? Do, do you think, <coughs> speaking out, you are helping some people to be less intolerant? I think by speaking out, it is important. Why we do it? <clears throat> the feedback, I'm especially speaking of school, the feedback I get from these pupils, I mean, it is unbelievable. You feel, you have, you have told the story. It's not out of a book, it's not in a film. We don't have PowerPoint presentation, we bring a few bottles and ends, and it, it works, and that's why we do it. We were, we were in Berlin in prison, believe it or not. We were in Berlin in prison a few weeks ago. A hundred prisoners for whom we talked to. Well, I, I, was, I was quite amazed. Some very good questions came up. Of these hundred prisoners, quite a few came up to us, <laughs> shaking our hands. They had not heard of the Holocaust. Now, they, they, they were, since they are in prison, for the last couple of months, they've had a, a teacher talking about it. A very good teacher, young people. They came, they had never heard of the Holocaust, so they hear this story. They come and shake their hands. They have done pictures, they've done poetry, they've done writings. Absolutely, I, I think, absolutely wonderful. The only thing I can hope, when they come out, when they self return I hope this education they receive in prison, I hope it works for them, and they don't be offended. Because they now are allowed to do drawings and writings, which they had never any opportunity to do before. So what goes on in Scottish prisons? I'm absolutely amazed. Next week we're going to Low Moss Prison, which is brand new, and they have an art room and a sculpture room. I mean, wow. I hope they benefit from it. I really do. 